Now uh, it's time to hand over to our first speaker, Andreas Nobel, Development Manager here at TCO Development. In his role, he works with criteria development and testing of products, which means he has unique insight into IT products. So without further ado, welcome, Andreas. Thank you, Cassandra. So I want to start off with just giving you a brief introduction to who we are and what we're working with. So our product is called TCO Certified, which is a global sustainability certification for IT products, which covers both social and environmental responsibility criteria. We take great pride in the independent verification of all the criteria and the compliance of the criteria. And we cover today 11 different product categories, ranging all the way from notebooks that we're going to cover today, down to data centers and data center products, such as servers or networking equipment. A very important thing about TC Certified is that we release a new set of criteria every three years, which we like to call a generation. And why is this important? Well, it is very important because the industry is moving in a very fast pace, and then we have to move as fast to stay up to date and relevant. In generation eight, which is our current generation, we included a whole new chapter with criteria just focusing in on product longevity, prolonging the lifetime of products. But we also focused in on hazardous substances to make sure that products that are discarded uh, for re recycling uh, can be recycled in a good way so we can actually use the materials. And if we look at some numbers connected to TCU Certified, we saw that during 2019, more than 100 million certified IT products were manufactured. And more than 20,000 hours were spent on the independent verification of compliance, which is great, of course, because then it makes it easier for you to trust us because all the products that are certified have been checked by a third party. And today we host about 3,500 certified product models, and you can find out all about them by visiting our website, tcucertified.com. And below here you can see some of the brands among, uh, among um, I think, 20 or so others. So please feel free to go there to find out if your model is certified. So let's get into it why we're actually here. It is to talk about our study on circular management of notebooks. And before that, I want just to give you a brief introduction to the problem at hand that we're trying to combat with our certification. And the first thing is e-waste. So as of now, more than 50 million metric tons of e-waste is being created annually but only about 20% is being taken care of in a responsible way. The, others, the, other, the rest, the 80% rest, it goes to illegal shipping or uh, unsafe ways of recycling, which leads to both uh, hazardous uh, uh, substances leaking out into the environment and causing damage to that, but also to the people in the close proximity. And in the end, a lot of the materials that has been used for these products they go missing. So it leads to an overuse of natural resources since we can't take care of the products we have already produced. The second big thing is the emissions connected to this. So if we look at this chart, we can see that just during the last 30 years, uh, the emissions, the total, 50% the of the total emissions has actually occurred. And for the last 15 years, that's 30%. And we're still accelerating towards the wrong trajectory, I would say. So we need to cut the, these emissions to be able to reach the climate goals the world has set out. And if we try to then zoom in on notebooks then, we can see that the annual sales, it sales is around 170 million. But the big problem at hand here is that they are often only used for three to four years. And the greenhouse gas emissions coming from the manufacturing phase of these notebooks stems to around 40 million metric tons. So during this talk, I will try to touch upon three different things and answer these questions. So how can longer usage make an impact to, to your emissions? Or what about buying a more energy efficient product? Will that help solve everything? 
or how does the prolonged use of a product affect, affect your financials? And first off, I want to touch upon the extending product, how that cuts greenhouse gas emissions. So what we did in our study was that we looked at 15 different life cycle analysis from the major manufacturers of notebooks. And especially in our study, we looked at 14 inch professional grade notebooks. And in this study, we saw that around 80% of the emission comes from the manufacturing phase. And this leads us to the easy conclusion that by just prolonging the lifetime of your current product, you can actually cut your emissions in third by extending your use of a notebook from four to six years. That is two extra years can cut your emissions with 30%. So that is the easiest way of doing this, I would say, an easy solution. The other solution is uh, coming from another study done by the Erco Institute of Technology. And we actually have one of the authors here in our, in our talk today, Siddharth Prakash, uh, which will be happy to answer any questions you might have to this. And when, what they looked at was that, OK, if you have an office, and after three years of use of notebooks, uh, you upgrade half of them, because that's reasonable, right? And then you maybe uh, repair it because they have some broken component or you put in more storage or ROM or whatever it might be. And they looked at, okay, how much lower emissions would you get from that? And they saw in their study that doing this, going from three to six years of use would lead to almost 30% in cut of greenhouse gases, which is also fantastic. So this is something you should think about upgrade or repair your products, because that will also help cutting the emissions. Then we come to something that has been living with us for a very long time, like buying new or getting a more energy efficient product. Won't that help solve everything? Because we've seen that all the time, like, yeah, this is more energy efficient, must be good, right? So then I can, I can go out and buy a new one and feel good about myself because I got a more energy efficient product. But that is not the case. Buying new does not compensate for emissions from the manufacturing phase, actually. So what we saw in the data was that if you buy a product that is, for example, 10% more energy efficient, you need to use that product for 33 to 88 more years to just compensate from instead of just using your old product. And if we up that number from 10% to 20% more energy efficient, yeah, that's still 17 to 44 years. And let's be real, no one will use their notebook for 17 years, I think at least. Uh, so buying a more energy efficient product will not justify that new purchase. Then if we move on and look at the money then, we saw that uh, circular solutions are actually better also from a financial perspective. So what we looked at was the total cost of the ownership of a product. So first of all, sure, the purchasing price of the, of the new notebook, but then you have also the administrative cost of doing the procurement. And then you have the cost for having someone to do all the software updates and installs and doing all the maintenance. And then you have the cost of service or of upgrading. And in the end, we come down to the cost uh, or income, actually, uh, from the disposal of the products. And in total, we can see that you can save up to around 500 euros or 28% of the cost when you upgrade and repair your computers and keep them from three years and go up to six years instead. So this is also th something you should consider because you're not just saving the planet by upgrading, you're also saving your wallet, you could say. And before we round this off, I want to leave you with some key uh, tips for uh, making this a reality, keeping your notebook for a longer lifetime. And the first thing is the durability of the product. If you're not buying a product that's built to last, it will not last. Uh, so it should be able to withstand some wear and tear. You should be able to take it from home or from the office to home and back and forth again. It should be able to withstand going down in the ground from a table being dropped or being exposed to heat or cold or whatnot it might be. And one way of doing that and making sure you're getting that is to ask for some sort of durability certification when you're procuring new notebooks. 
The second thing that is important is uh, that there are replaceable components for your computer, that you can actually upgrade your computer when the performance is not sufficient for you any longer. Or if something breaks down, you should be able to repair it. So replaceable components is a must to go from these three or four up to six years of use. And then we have this hot potato battery longevity. We've seen products catching fire but others lowering the performance. And both cases has been connected to batteries. And this is something you need to think about when buying new. Buy a computer with a very good battery and ask the, the, the brand owner what type of battery is inside it and how long it will last you. Because as everyone knows, batteries are not built to last as long as the product. They are consumables. And this brings us into the fourth point, the battery replaceability. If you can't replace your battery for a reasonable cost, you won't. You will look at the new shiny model instead and buy that because the difference will be too small. So make sure to ask, okay, how much does it cost to change the battery? Because that might give you extra performance down the line when the battery starts getting old. And then you might be happy by using your old product instead of buying a new one. So that is very important. And the last thing, I can admit uh, that uh, I've been a bit of a bad guy here. I had, for example, four or five cell phones lying around in my drawer back home. And the reason for that was that I was afraid that my data would leak out into the wrongful hands. And this is the same for a lot of people and a lot of uh, different organizations. So ask if the notebook comes with software that can securely erase all the data because then you are more likely to give away or sell your products to another user when you feel that you're done with it. And this will extend the lifetime of the product. So that is also very important. And if we look at 2019, 32 million notebooks ticked off all of these boxes. And these notebooks were certified models according to TCU Certified, actually. So that is an easy way for you to know that you get all this ticked off in, in your purchase, instead of you having to ask for each and every component. But of course, TCU Certified includes a lot more than just these, but these are the most important, I would say, for you to be able to prolong the lifetime of your products. And before I leave you today from, from this part of the presentation, I would like to just give you one sentence to remember, and that is one more year. This is something you should ask yourself when buying new products. Can I use my current product for one more year? Because that is the most efficient way of cutting greenhouse gas emissions. And uh, I would like to bring up an example, and that is our CEO, Søren Ian Holm because he has actually been using his notebook now for seven years and going for eight. So if our CEO at a tech company can do, do it, then I think so can you. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you for that, Andreas, um, for getting into the notebook case.